Okay, students. Let me go to another topic. Group multiplication table. Group multiplication table. Okay. This is the last topic from the group theory. This will be understood if you are very clear with the um, group of uh, symmetric groups and symmetry elements. Anyway, let us try that. I just try, uh, recommend you to learn symmetry elements and symmetric groups once again before going to these topics. Okay, let us make it simple. First, uh, let us discuss what is the group multiplication table. It's a table. Okay. It is the table representing representing the multiplication product of multiplication products of two symmetry elements of 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 a particular point group of a particular point group this is very clear that if two symmetry elements symmetry elements multiplied 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 there is a particular meaning of what the multiplied i will explain that the new symmetry element the product the product will be a new symmetry element symmetry element comma that will be that will be the symmetry element of that will be the symmetry element of element of same point group same point group. Fine. Now, what is the meaning of multiply? I write uh, that like that. C2 into sigma xz. What is the meaning? You take your molecule. You take your molecule. Then you rotate the molecule with respect to the theta axis. That is C2 into after the rotation you reflect that molecule with respect to sigma xz play then you will get another sigma x sorry yz sigma yz the result of these two operations will be equal to the result of this operation fine the result of these two operations that is the product of multiplication of two symmetry elements that is this is a molecule imagine you rotate c2 axis after rotation you will get like this then reflection or just reflection the result of these two operations will be same the result of this operation therefore the multiplication of these two will be equal to this this is what is uh, group multiplication table. Okay. Let us discuss group multiplication table of two point groups. First is C2B. Group multiplication table tells you what will be the product of two symmetry operations. You can, uh, you, you can get that uh, products result without doing the symmetry operation fine the group multiplication table is a mathematical tool to identify which is the final result after two symmetry operations that's the group multiplication table tells you okay anyway what are the symmetry elements of c2v c2v has identity c2 axis sigma xz sigma uh, why is it? What is the example for a C2V molecule, water molecule? 
water molecule let us take a water molecule you just give this a b now you just c2 you please understand uh, this is our x axis this is our z axis therefore board is in xz our board xz remember board is xz and this is the y axis therefore if uh, uh, this like I'm sorry here is a board board is here z xz this is y fine now c to z suppose c to z your c to axis c to z axis what you will get you just rotate after the rotation 180 degree rotation hydrogen here hydrogen here but after the rotation 180 degree you just rotate that 180 degree this hydrogen will come here and this will be here okay now Now you reflect with the x z plane sigma x z what is that x z plane x z plane what is that this plane this is x z that is a molecular plane when you reflect this is a x z plane okay What do you get? You will get same because a plane containing the molecule above that plane, nothing below that plane, nothing. Therefore, you will get the same molecule, but it has such a plane. H A H P. Now the same thing that is C two. Therefore, here two operation C two X Z uh, sigma X Z operation together you will get this result. Now suppose I take this molecule directly sigma y z plane. What is that y z plane? This is our z axis. Y is towards the for plane. This is a y z plane because this is z z. This is a y. When you reflect y z plane, h a will be come here, h b will be here. That is a yz plane reflection. Okay. Therefore, this is the yz plane. Therefore, direct yz plane. If you do direct yz plane, you will get this. If you do three to a sigma xz, you will get this. Therefore, sigma xz is equal to sigma yz. Okay. Please remember that. Now, another one. Another symmetry element. E, what is E? Please understand what is E. What is E? E is nothing but doing nothing. Doing nothing. Suppose I do C2 and E. C2 and E. C2, E. What shall I get? C2. Because E means doing nothing. This is C2 into E is equal to C2. Sigma XZ into E is equal to Sigma XZ. Because E is doing nothing. Fine. Sigma yz into E is equal to sigma yz. Therefore, when a symmetry element is multiplied with the E, you will get the same symmetry element. Agree? Yes. Because E is doing nothing. Now, another one. I do xz again xz. What shall be? I will get? I will get E. You know why? Or I do YZ. YZ. Again YZ. Again I do YZ here. YZ here. If I do YZ here, YZ is like that. What, what happened? B will be here. H will be here. This is HA. Therefore, YZ into YZ is equal to donor. I do C2 again C2. Again C2. That is, this is C2. 
again C2, I wrote H, therefore HB will be here, HA will be here. Therefore, when a symmetry element is multiplied with another symmetry element, I will get E. Therefore, these two points are very, very important. When any symmetry element, any symmetry element multiplied with the multiplied with the E, I will get same symmetry element, same symmetry element. Another point, when same symmetry element, same symmetry element multiplied each other, multiplied each other, I will get E. Same symmetry element multiplied with each other, I will get E. C2 into C2, E. Sigma XZ into Sigma XZ. E. Sigma YZ into Sigma YZ. E. E into E. 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 Doing nothing. Again E. Doing nothing. I will get that. Fine. Very simple. Now we can develop the character table or multiplication table for C to V. Very, very simple. Okay. Please remember these points. Fine. C to E E C to Sigma XZ Sigma YZ Again E C to Sigma XZ Sigma YZ Okay Make the columns like this Okay. Fine. Now, this column for E into E, E into E, E. So now, when the same symmetry elements are multiplied each other, you will get C two. This for C two, C two. Same symmetry element multiplied each other, you will get E. Sigma XZ, Sigma XZ, E. Sigma YZ. Okay. Now, when a symmetry element multiplied with E, this for E into C2, same symmetry element. C2, Sigma XZ, C2, Sigma XZ, E, Sigma XZ, Sigma YZ. This is for E C2, E C2, that is C2, sigma XZ into E. When a symmetry element multiplied with the E, you will get same symmetry element. XZ, sigma YZ. Now you want to fill out the distance. Let us fill. C2 into sigma XZ. What is that? C, this C2 into sigma XZ, that is sigma YZ. C2 into sigma yz, sigma xz. C2 into, we have done C2, sigma xz into C2, C2 into sigma z, it was sigma yz. Sigma xz into sigma yz. What shall we? C2. We can check that. HA, HB. Sigma xz. What is sigma xz? Sigma xz means nothing because h a uh, sigma xz. Sigma xz means board play, board play, as is. Now sigma yz. Sigma yz means h h b here, a here. This a here, b here. This is nothing but c2. If you do c2, you will get same. Okay. Yes, if you do C2, C2 axis, C2 axis, H A, A will be here, wait, therefore sigma XZ into, oh, sorry, sigma XZ, sigma YZ will be C2. Now this column, sigma YZ, C2, sigma YZ, C2, sigma XZ, sigma XZ, okay, sigma YZ into C, 
Do you, do you want the uh, explanation? Let us check. What are you? It's A, it's B. This is where we are going to explain. Sigma YZ. What is sigma YZ? Sigma YZ means this plane. Therefore, H A H B. This plane. You reflex. This will come here. This will come. Now, C2. C2 means rotate. Rotate. Therefore, H A H B. Use this molecule. This is our fundamental. Sigma XZ. XZ means a planar molecule. You will get same. Same. HA, HB. Therefore, this is equal to this. Therefore, sigma XZ into C2 or C2 and XZ is equal to sigma XZ. Sigma XZ into sigma YZ is C2. Okay. Therefore, this is our group multiplication table for for uh, water. Therefore, only only these things are important. This corner, this sides are e easy. Sorry, uh, I'm sorry. Only these things are important. This corner and this, these are easy, only these are important. Simple? Fine. Now let us go to another example. D2H, C2H, I'm sorry, C2H. C2H molecule. C2H has identity, then now. Uh, C2 axis, sigma H inversion. One example is triple bond H, H, A, B, or C, L, A, C, L, B. Okay. This is Z axis, this is X axis. And this is this y axis. This is the board plane. Y axis will be like this. Okay. This is the y axis. Now you draw the C2 axis. C2 axis means C2 axis, C2 y axis. Just rotate. Rotate. Just rotate. When rotate, what happen? 180 degree. Imagine this is a square. A square. Just like. I just make a mark here. 180 degree rotation. Here I put a mark. Just a mark. Okay, 180 degree rotation. What happens? This one. It was earlier like this. Now it is like this. Okay. Therefore, you will get C C C L H C L H A B. Suppose this is C D D C. Okay. Now you have a planar molecule, this is a planar molecule, therefore you have a sigma h plane. What is sigma h plane? A plane perpendicular to the principal axis. This is the principal axis. C2 y is the principal axis, y axis is the principal axis. And you have a molecular plane perpendicular. A plane. Okay. The plane, plane sigma h xz plane, xz plane, molecular plane. Nothing. You will get this. C L C A C L 
the this is H D H B because it's a molecular chain. Now, what is this? This is I. I means center of inversion. Suppose you have a point here. From the point inversion with respect to H and H, you can invert. That is HB here, HA here. CL can be inverted because you have a center of inversion. Here is a chlorine, here is a chlorine. Therefore, you have an inversion point. Which is the inversion point you can invert each other? This chlorine here, this chlorine here, this H here, here. Therefore, therefore very important. C2 into sigma H is equal to I. Am I correct? Remember that. Okay. Now C2 into what, what shall be C2 into I? This is C2. This is C2. What is I? Gives I is. Look at here. C2 into I. I, I put the I. Therefore, what I am getting? Here, H, HA here. HB will be here. I inversion. D will be here. C will be here. Okay, therefore I will get the C2 in the I, 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 I will get E. E. Okay? Yes. You can remember. You can do this. Okay? Now, the group multiplication table. We have E C2 Sigma H I we have E C2 Sigma H I Okay Okay First very simple E to E, E, C2 to C2, E, Sigma H and Sigma H, E, I and I, E. E into C2, C2, E into Sigma H, Sigma H, E into I, I. E into C2, E, E into Sigma H, Sigma H, E into I, I. Now, these are the points we have to carefully determine. Fine. What is uh, C2 into sigma H? C2 into sigma H we just put uh, I. C2 into sigma H is equal to I. And C2 into I. C2 into I sigma H. C2 into I sigma H. You can prove that. Sigma H into C2, that is I. Sigma H and I, that will be C2. Sigma H and I, therefore that will be. Because if you multiply this, this will be this. Uh, this will be this. Okay? Now, I into C2. Sigma H, I into sigma H is C2. Because C2 into sigma H is equal to I. Fine. Very simple. This is okay. I think this topic is clear for you. If you have any doubts, WhatsApp me or message me, I will clear it. Okay. Thank you for watching.